The bold and beautiful disclosure reveals that Sheila's crimes can no longer be concealed, especially the fact that she harmed Brooke by swapping labels of non-alcoholic bottles for alcohol. Ridge may feel guilty that he wrongly blamed Brooke, however, he's now becoming closer to Taylor thanks to the Steffi incident. Of course, Thomas is not the one to reveal the secret to Ridge, although he was the first to discover Sheila's evil deeds. Thomas knew Taylor wanted to mend Ridge, so he couldn't get Ridge back to Brooke. However, Thomas would not have expected that the other person who had accidentally discovered the label swapped bottles was Deacon. Even though Deacon can't yet know about Sheila's actions, we also have another person who can expose Sheila, that's Steffi. She's been tracking Sheila and Thomas before the incident. Steffi had felt suspicious that there were two keeping something secret and exactly what she had predicted happened. Steffi discovers that Sheila swapped out Brooke's bottles of alcohol on New Year's Eve, and that's why Brooke kissed Deacon, which made Rich angry and packed up and left. Steffi immediately informed Finn so that he could recognize Sheila's true face. But then Finn only thought of one thing, that Steffi might be in danger. In the end, Finn is shot dead by Sheila and Steffi, is wounded. After waking up, Steffi loses her memory, but sooner or later she will regain her memories. The fact that Sheila's harmed Brooke will be exposed, but maybe Steffi will cover up Thomas' behavior. Steffi and Thomas hope Taylor and Ridge can get back together anyways, but clearly, Brooke is the biggest obstacle right now, and in the end, Thomas didn't say it, but Steffi couldn't hide Sheila's behavior any longer. Ridge soon realized that Brooke was only a victim of that incident, and Sheila had a whole plan to ruin Brooke's life in order to adventure. Ridge understands Brooke's uncontrollable behavior on New Year's Eve. However, another issue is why Brooke was not honest with him about what happened in the first place, but deliberately concealed it. Thanks to Steffi's incidents, Ridge was able to spend more time with Taylor, and this makes him sometimes recall the good memories of the past and even want to return to Taylor's side with their children. However, Brooke held a very important place in Ridge's heart, and the two of them broke up and got back together countless times. Objectively speaking, Brooke and Taylor are the two women in complete opposite personalities. While Taylor is a pure person of absolute love for Ridge, Brooke is more of a conqueror, and the proof is that she developed a lot of relationships with other men while she was still with Ridge's wife. And the question here is whether Brooke is willing to stop the game and see Ridge as the final destination. Brooke must have also felt that he was not worthy of Ridge's sincere affection, so he let him go like that. In short, the choice will lie in the Ridge. What kind of woman does he want? Ridge simply wanted his wife's fidelity or absolute control when they were together. Is Ridge still willing to continue with Brooke when she has heard him time and time again?